Hi, I'm Ryan Reidenauer. In this video, I'm going to be using Final Cut Pro and the Image Mask Filter to create a unique picture-in-picture -picture effect. I'm also going to be diving into Photoshop just a little bit. With this effect, we're going to be taking a piece of video and masking it into any shape we could possibly want. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to make a sequence where I appear to be dreaming about something, and the second set of video is going to be in the shape of a dream bubble to give it a kind of a cartoony effect. So let's go ahead and go to Final Cut, and I'll show you what I've set up so far. So here in Final Cut, I've already set up a project with two sets of video in it. The first set of video you see here is a video of me napping. The second set of video is going to be the video that I'm going to be dreaming of, shown here. The first thing I'm going to have to do is set up my project. I've already done that, and I've set it up so that I've got the video of me dreaming, and then a little bit later comes in the picture of me actually dreaming. As you can see, this video doesn't isn't set to any specific shape, so it's just kind of floating there in the middle of nothing. So what we're going to do is we're going to head over to Photoshop and create an image mask to apply to this layer of video so that it takes on a specific shape. Let's go do that now. If we switch over to Photoshop, we're going to first go to File, New, Blank File. In the dialog box, we see a lot of different presets. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the preset drop-down box. We're going to click on Film and Video. Now under Size, we're going to click that drop-down box, and for right now I'm just going to pick out a white screen piece of video. Let's do the NTSC D1 white screen. We're going to click OK, and Photoshop opens up a new image that is the same shape as the video that we asked it to open up. First things first, I want this background to be black. So what I'm going to do is go down to my color palette, choose my black color, then I'm going to go up to the paint bucket tool. Simply going to click that, click inside the image, and make the image black. The next order of business is to create the shape that we would really like to make. In this video, I'm going to be dreaming, so I'm looking for a dream bubble shape. We're going to go down to the shape tool, click there, and at the top of the screen we see some presets. Under the shape presets, if we click the drop down dialog box, we can scroll through and find the image that we're looking for. Like I said, for this project I'm going to be using the dream bubble shape. I click, double click on that, and I'm ready to go. Now I need to go down to my color palette again and choose a white color to make my dream bubble. Now I go back up to the corner of my image, click, drag, to create my shape. I want it nice and big so most of my image of the video shows through. That looks good right about there. I'm going to let go, and voila, there's my image. Now just to move it around a little bit, I'm going to take the move tool and center it a little bit better inside my image. That looks good right there. Now this image has a very crisp edge around it. Since it's supposed to be a dream, I think I'd like to take the edges of this mask and blur it just a little bit to give it a more dreamlike quality. For that, we're going to simply use a Gaussian blur filter. We're going to go up to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. It asks me if I want to simplify the shape, I say OK. Now as you can see, I've got a blur on my image that kind of blurs the edges. I can play with my slider and take a look and see about where I want it. I want it nice and fuzzy, so let's take it up to about 7. Right there looks good. Go up and click OK, and the filter is applied. Now all that's left is to save it. We're going to go up to File, Save. I'm going to call this file Dream Bubble, and I'm going to leave the extension PSD because Final Cut actually recognizes the PSD extension. I've got it saving in my 
folder where I'm doing my tutorial, and I'm going to click Save. Now that that's saved, we can quit out of Photoshop and head back over to Final Cut. Now we're ready to apply that image mask to our video. First thing we're going to do is import the image mask into our, pro into our project. We're going to click File, Import. If I go into my folder, I find my dreambubble.psd file and click Choose. Now you can see it's ready for me in my browser. The next order of business is to come over to our piece of video, double click it to bring it up in the viewer, then go up to Effects, Video Filters, Matte, Image Mask. Now if we click in the Filters tab on our viewer, we can see our Image Mask filter right here. This right here is called a well. This is where we're going to take our image mask that we created and drop it into there to tell Final Cut exactly which parts of the image we want to keep and which parts we want to go away. Let's go on down to our dreambubble.psd file, click and drag, and simply drop it into this well. Now as you can see in our um, canvas, it shows our piece of video that has been now cropped down into the shape of the dream bubble. It looks like a pretty good effect we've got going on there. The only thing that's left to do now is to resize the image and place it where we want it. I'm going to click on one of the corners of the image, press the shift key to hold its as or I'm sorry, don't press the shift key to hold the aspect ratio. That looks like it's a good size right there. Now I can move it up into this corner, and there we go. And that's about it. All that's left to do now is a little bit of tweaking. For instance, I'm going to add a cross dissolve to the beginning of the dream video in order to make it fade in and seem a little more dreamy. I'm also going to play with the audio and bring it down a little bit so that it's not quite so obtrusive. After that's done, my video will be ready. I'm going to go ahead and do that, render the file, and we'll see what it looks like when it's done. Now with our project all rendered out, we can press play and see our final product. That looks pretty good to me, so I'm going to leave it there. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Remember that your options with this effect are practically limitless. You can force your video to take on any shape you could possibly want, as long as you can create the image mask for it. So just use your imagination and see how you might be able to use this effect in your own work.